Aloha and welcome back to Island Style here at Ala Moana Beach Park. You know, Japanese culture in Hawaii is so ingrained in all of us, no matter what your background is. And you can see that right here at the Lantern Ceremony. Ala Moana Beach Park is filled with kids, families. They're all having fun, no matter what race, what background they're coming from, because they all want to say aloha to loved ones that have passed on throughout the year. And we want to share that story with you right now, but also the story that it's more than just about saying goodbye to their loved ones, it's about a family tradition. ceremony was started back in 1999, it was started as a method of understanding of cultures. Now Memorial Day is a wonderful holiday in America where we salute and pay honor to the servicemen and women that have given the ultimate sacrifice for us. But this event is about cultural understanding and saying aloha to all family members and loved ones who've gone on. And it's really touching, the amazing job that the volunteers do allowing us to make some of these beautiful floats. They hand you a bag earlier in the day and they give you a chance to either make the float here or go ahead and take it home and make it yourself. But as long as you come back and bring it here at seven o'clock and as you can see, we're just almost a half an hour away and the crowd has gotten full. But the cool thing is we got a little sprinkling here, a little bit of a blessing and everyone's just showing the aloha and getting close together. But that's what this event at Lantern Ceremony is all about. And once you actually put these in the water, the volunteers work together to make sure that they retrieve them and then properly take care of the memories and the messages that you put on each one of these boats. And speaking of the message, I want to take time and just give a little bit of an aloha to the Grace family. Uh, Kaylee, our director, who's behind the camera right now, is the creative vision and really the glue that keeps our show together. And his family is paying love and aloha. As you can hear, the chant and the oli is about ready to begin. But we want to say a big aloha to the Grace family. It's about this connection with family, both here, in the future, and that have gone on in the past. It's all about aloha and our culture here in Hawaii. My dad passed away a little while ago, maybe eight years ago. And when we came here three years ago, it meant like so much to just put out a lantern for him and his memory and just being around like all the people that are sharing the same um, thoughts and stuff was really touching. Same here for my dad and that's how we had that connection like both our dads passed away and then we sort of like got that idea that we should come do it together. And And the one thing that we all are here for is for our loved ones. So to come out and celebrate and be here as one really shows the aloha that we are, are trying to share today. As the sun has just set at Ala Moana, thousands have put the lanterns out to the ocean. And this is actually an age-old Buddhist tradition going back to the Japanese cultural tradition of obon, or paying respects to loved ones that have gone on and are still in our hearts and minds. But also it's a way to say goodbye and bring closure for the people that are still here looking for the future. So again, 1999, Shinyorin first started this at Kiwalo Basin and then three years later brought this to Ala Moana Park and as you can see now more than 7,000 lanterns are floating out into the ocean right now. And again this is all part of a Buddhist Japanese cultural tradition centered around the Obon season but also centered around paying respects to your elders and loved ones and people that have passed on. Come here. Come here. 